Hello. Very soon, a significant cryptocurrency market growth is expected, and in 2024, the rise of most coins will be inevitable. Of course, I want to earn a lot of money, and for this, it's crucial to understand how to identify cryptocurrencies that will show the highest growth. So today, I'll show you how to find gems, those coins that outperform others, so you can invest in what will grow higher in the next market. As a result, you'll be able to take more profits from the market. The thing is, analyzing the Bitcoin chart and the cryptocurrency market indicates that when the market has already grown, it's too late to buy. Therefore, I'm sharing this information with you now when the cryptocurrency market is less popular, giving you the opportunity to choose more promising assets for your portfolio. Let's start by briefly looking at the market to understand what growth I'm talking about. So let's begin with the overall global picture of what's happening in the cryptocurrency market. If this isn't clear, there's no point in discussing analytics further because it's a crucial part that will lead to how to earn more on the coins we'll analyze later. Here's the essence. The market goes through cycles lasting about four years. Historically, we had highs in 2013 with Bitcoin at 100 Lollands, in 2017 with Bitcoin at 19,000 Lollands. And 2021, the previous high when most people entered the cryptocurrency market and Bitcoin was priced at $69,000. We always have two main phases in the market, the accumulation phase and the distribution phase. Between them are the pump and dump phases. But the accumulation phase is where significant players accumulate a large amount of cryptocurrency while most people sell. Then they pump the price to sell the cryptocurrency at a premium, distributing it. Distribution phases are when the cryptocurrency is expensive and major players start distributing their assets. This pattern has occurred several times, at least three times in the market's history. Currently, we are in a phase where the cryptocurrency has significantly dropped, and it is trading very cheaply. Despite Bitcoin having risen significantly, most altcoins have not yet risen. But we won't look at existing altcoins. In this video, I want to show you what will bring much more profit. Therefore, I lean towards the idea that we have, at most, until the end of 2024, another accumulation phase. After that, there may be a short, very short, local decline. After that, we will have a rally towards the next bull market, during which we will make the main profit. Where Bitcoin will already be priced at over $100,000, Ethereum will be priced at over $10,000, and most cryptocurrencies will similarly experience significant pump. This will be around 2025, more precisely, 2024, 25th year, and that's where I'm heading. To seize this primary growth, where most of the money will come into the market. Now, capture it. However, not all cryptocurrencies should be bought because, as I've mentioned many times on this channel, 8 out of 10 old cryptocurrencies that were relevant in 2021 have either exited or already existed. They won't grow, simply won't. More precisely, they will grow almost all, but not as strongly. Because let me show you an example. Let's take the cryptocurrency Bitcoin Cash. It was once a top 10 cryptocurrency in 2017 when Bitcoin reached its high of $20,000. Now, let's see how it behaved in the previous bull cycle. To do this, we'll overlay the Bitcoin chart on the same percentage scale. Look at where Bitcoin highs were in 2017, 2018. It started significantly when the Bitcoin market, that is, when Bitcoin went down, this cryptocurrency also went down. You can apply the same logic to 8 out of the other 10 top cryptocurrencies that existed then and also exist now, essentially, old cryptocurrencies. So, this coin is falling, and it might seem that if Bitcoin is rising now, in 2020, 2021, and 2022, then this cryptocurrency should also pull up with it and update these previous highs. However, if we look at the chart, it simply didn't happen. That is, the cryptocurrency did not update its highs in 2022 when Bitcoin was pumped. It did not update its previous highs because it's not profitable to drive the price up here. Many people have already bought at this level, and they will simply unload here, at least those who held. Therefore, we should focus on new cryptocurrencies that haven't been pumped yet, which will only exist in the future. 
Why should we pay attention to new altcoins? Let's open the Bitcoin chart again to see how it looked in different cycles. I'll show you some cryptocurrencies. Here we have, again, the accumulation phase where we are now with a shift of four years. Let's open the top cryptocurrencies that grew the most. For example, Solana. Solana entered the market before the main cryptocurrency market pump in August 2020, in 2021, when the previous highs did not yet exist. As a result, people didn't enter at a high price, making it much easier to pump compared to Bitcoin. This means it provided much more profit relative to Bitcoin. Avalanche. It was also pumped more than Bitcoin, but not as much as Solana. If we remove Solana, we see that these cryptocurrencies also entered the market in 2020 before the pump of the entire cryptocurrency market. The last example is the cryptocurrency AXS, AXS USDT. When it entered the market in November 2020, it was also before the pump of the cryptocurrency market. It showed a 1000x growth relative to the market, and comparing its growth to Bitcoin, Bitcoin looked like a stable coin, and Bitcoin's growth was super insignificant. I want to buy such coins now, but it's important to understand that they haven't been released yet. Now is the period when new projects are likely to come out, such as Layer Zero, and then other top projects like Zexync, and so on. We will pay attention to them to buy and get at least approximately such profit, surpassing Bitcoin's growth, and especially the growth of old cryptocurrencies. Today, I'll give you a foundation that will exclude scams from your life by at least 80% and, in the absolute majority of cases, show you top projects literally within five minutes of your analytics. I'll show you cool services and the logic of how it works. My research on projects is not limited to surface analysis. I thoroughly investigate each project, creating extensive reports of 20-30 pages. This allows me to monitor all the top projects in the cryptocurrency market and understand exactly what they are doing, their prospects, and when it's worth buying their tokens. I see the big picture and analyze projects very deeply. In eight years in the crypto community, I have developed a clear technology, logic, and structure for selecting the best projects. I have already achieved significant profits, making 300x and 900x from various projects. I want to share this experience with you and show you how I analyze projects so that you can improve your analytical skills and choose projects for investment correctly. Super growth is just around the corner, and I want my community to earn more than anyone else in the next bull market. So, Subscribe to the channel and also to Telegram and WhatsApp to not miss the opportunity to earn well. Links will be in the description. What new cryptocurrencies should you buy to maximize profits in the next 6-12 months when they appear on the market? Before determining the most promising among them, we need to learn about new projects. How and where to find them. I have three main ways. There are, of course, many more. But let me tell you about the three simplest ones in today's video. Also, you need the best exchanges with good launch pads that are positively inclined towards their clients and list many new coins. One of them is the Crypto Exchange, which I can proudly recommend to you. Additionally, for quick trades, consider an exchange like Budfi. So, register through the link in the description where you'll find some bonuses. Come and see what bonuses are available there. We won't linger on this for long, but it's another alternative way to discover, participate, and quickly invest in new projects. The first is searching through Twitter. The second is searching through investment funds in these projects. And the third is searching through the so-called launch pads on exchanges, or in other words, through launch pads in general. Let's go through each option in order, devoting only one minute to each, because what's the point of analyzing something if we haven't found anything to analyze yet? In general, the first option is Twitter. There, you need to follow top projects and keep an eye on their announcements simply in your feed. Many projects form partnerships and share them on Twitter. You can discover numerous new projects in your feed that you will then need to check for their prospects using the analysis method we will discuss soon. You should have a base of over 300 subscriptions to top and simply good projects. The next option is investment funds. 
When a fund invests in a project, in 90% of cases, it happens at an early stage of development, which is precisely what interests us. Projects at an early stage anticipate the future growing market. There is a free website called CryptoFundraising.info where investments in projects are compiled. You can click on each project and further analyze it based on metrics and steps that I will tell you about in this video. This way, you'll have a list of projects that have just appeared, don't have a token yet, and can be caught quite early. Those who are in the project earlier always earn an order of magnitude more than those who simply buy from the market. The last option in today's video is the fastest. These are launch pads on exchanges. The advantage is that you won't have to wait long for the coin to launch. You can buy it in about a week and sometimes even less after learning about it. In other options, it can take a month and sometimes up to a year because the project is at an early stage. However, if you look at projects on launch pads, they are already ready for a low start to enter the market next week within the launch pad. As part of the launch pad, the exchange prepares a small advertising campaign for the new token project, launching its trading on its exchange. The exchange doesn't list everything, and there are often more reasonable and selective projects there. I would still analyze them to understand what to expect from them now. Before we delve into a project, we need to consider four main indicators. There are over a hundred of them and ratios that can be considered, but four basic ones are necessary to quickly filter out about 80 or even 90% of the market garbage. I come across 10 projects every day, and if I don't have a filtering mechanism, which I will share with you now, there simply isn't enough time in a day to understand everything. The primary analysis of a project, which is filtering, where most projects are filtered out, is done based on indicators such as the quality of the funds that invested money in this project, the investment volume, the number of subscribers in the project, and the quality of the audience. These are social metrics that can be quickly analyzed. Developing a habit of this analysis, you can conduct it in two to three minutes. To find out which funds invested in the project, we use a service called CryptoRank.io. Let's go to CryptoRank.io and find the project we found in other sources, whether it's a launch pad or the CryptoFundraising.info service. Let's analyze the Blast cryptocurrency together. Here we are on CryptoRank.io and searching for the Blast cryptocurrency. So, what do we want to see? We want to see the tab called Fundraising or Token Sale. Here, you can see information about who invested in this cryptocurrency which investors are participating in it. We see that the Paradigm Fund invested in Blast, which is a very cool and strong fund. There is also Standard Crypto and others, but we are most interested in the Paradigm Fund. We can click on this fund and see its tier. A tier is, roughly speaking, a certain gradation, which can be Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3. And I divide funds into five tiers. This service shows the tier of funds quite accurately, where good is marked as good, average as average, and bad as bad. So on this site, we can review who invested in this cryptocurrency. The better the fund, the more support this project can receive. We can click on various funds and see their tier, that is, their quality gradation based on previous investments. The logic here is as follows. If there is at least one Tier 1 fund in the project, this is already a positive sign, and this project can be considered for further analysis. If the project has the support of two or three Tier 1 funds, this is an excellent sign, and it's definitely worth paying attention to. The essence is that if the project is really worthwhile, it can convince analysts of the quality of a top fund that invests in it. Otherwise, if the project is less quality, it may be supported by less known or weak funds. The project, when raising funds, reveals its cards and provides more information to top funds, making their decision to invest more reasoned. However, it happens that a strong fund invests in a relatively weak project. This phenomenon is expressed in the fact that the investment amount is simply not high and little money is invested in the project. Funds make such investments because they expect to quickly recoup their money from such a project and simply forget about it, not nurturing it as their partner. This is why we are interested in projects that have attracted a lot of money. 
This may indicate that they will stay longer in the market and develop more competitive technology than other products. This is achieved by having a larger investment volume, more money that will go not only to profit distribution, but also to technology development, team payment, partnerships, and so on. I consider investments on the same site where we are now. It's visible right here. What should be the investment volume in a crypto project from funds? Here, if there are several investment rounds, that is, several integrations over time when funds invested in the project. Because initially, projects can raise, for example, $2 million, then $10 million, then another $100 million it happens. We simply sum up all the investment volume. So here, we see that $20 million has been invested in the project, for example. And that's not bad, I'll say. It's normal. And in general, I have such a rule. If a project attracts more than $100 million in investments, it's a top project. If it's more than $50 million, it's a good project. If it's more than $20 million, it's a normal project. Everything below, I skip except in exceptional cases if I have significant reasons. From other sources, I conduct a more detailed analysis. I compare the investment amount specifically with those who made this investment. If tiers 3, 4, 5, generally, not the coolest funds invested here, then this money is worth nothing. Such funds will be interested in quickly selling their tokens at 5 to 10x and simply forgetting about the project without making long-term commitments. For example, if quality funds invest early in a project, they are interested in significantly boosting the project and thus earning more. If we get into the project early, we can also profit from it. By the way, I will leave links to all the services I showed you today in the Telegram WhatsApp channel. I will also add a few life hacks there. How to use them, why I'm doing it this way, not just dropping their description in this video. This is because I want you to join my Telegram or WhatsApp channel and subscribe. There is a lot of information there. If you do this, I will be super grateful. Let's move on to social metrics and why this metric is important. Here, I pay attention to the number of subscribers a project has. The more people know about the project and believe in it, the more actively they will buy the coin, even during its pump, and it can be pumped even higher because there will be faith and more demand at higher prices, or there will be demand in general, for which it makes sense for market makers to raise the price of this cryptocurrency. For audience analysis, I use Twitter. Let's move on to the Blast project and see how many followers it has on Twitter. At the moment, it has 112,000 followers. This is its audience that somehow follows the project. Some of them may be bots, and in general, this is, roughly speaking, an audience with which the project can interact more actively. Here's my rule in audience analysis. Over 500,000 followers is an excellent indicator. Over 100,000 followers, as in this case, is a good indicator. And over 50,000 followers is a normal indicator. Anything below, I either skip or conduct a more in-depth analysis in exceptional cases with significant reasons. The number of followers can be easily inflated, and this can distort the real figure. So, it's important to check for the presence of crypto followers, not just their quantity. For this, I use the Twitterscore.io service, and it shows the coolness of the audience and the presence of a crypto audience. When we want to check the quality of the crypto audience, we first copy the project's handle on Twitter. Here, we leave all the text after the E symbol, highlight it, and copy it. Then, paste the handle into the browser address bar, adding scoretwitter.com with a slash. After that, press Enter. I wait for the site to load. Here it indicates whether these metrics are excellent, good, average, normal, or bad. If the value is closer to 0, 5, or 10, it can be considered a bad indicator. There is a slight delay here, and currently they have more than 100,000 followers, indicating 85. But over time, this is updated. What does this service give us? Firstly, we see which significant people and projects are subscribed to the project we are currently analyzing. From what sphere its followers are, for example, Coinbase, Paradigm Fund, or other funds and influencers. However, we are interested exclusively in evaluating the Twitter score itself. Here, based on criteria, 
I outline the following for myself. If this Twitter score is over 300, then it's excellent. It's a top-level project. If the Twitter score is over 100, it's good. And if it's over 50, it's normal. Projects with Twitter scores below I usually skip because this indicator statistically best reflects the project's quality. If the score is below 30, as a rule, I don't work with such projects since they lack support and no one follows them. They are not interesting to a knowledgeable crypto audience consisting of people who have more information. By using and combining all these metrics, I can quickly analyze a project, filter out what does not meet the minimum criteria, and focus only on projects in the excellent or good sector. For example, I mark the Blast project as good. It has an average fan raise, but it can attract even more money since it has an excellent Twitter score and a subscriber base followed by quality individuals. Thus, social metrics have a greater weight than fan raising and they allow identifying top projects with a high probability of successful growth. This approach creates a framework for earning in the cryptocurrency market by focusing on quality projects and interacting with knowledgeable members of the crypto community. Regularly monitoring the market and updating the approach are important for long-term success. A small clarification. These metrics mean for me that I focus on top projects that are likely to grow successfully and reward us in the future. This is a strategy that requires patience, monitoring, project tracking, and ultimately, investment. Now, I have literally presented to you a certain framework or scheme on how to earn in the market and find only top projects. If you want to learn more, go to my Telegram, WhatsApp, using the link in the description. I will provide you with even more useful information there. I hope this video was useful, informative, and, most importantly, enlightening. Goodbye, everyone.